Michael Faraday has always been for me the most outstanding of all the great men who have built our profession of electrical engineering and to have received from this institution the medal commemorating his work is an honor I value most deeply. Faraday's concept of electromagnetic induction with its consequences in every branch of electrical engineering cannot be overrated. And there are few people, if any, uh, who can have done so much uh, towards the advancement of applied science throughout the world. Looking back on my own career in electrical engineering, I feel I was particularly fortunate in having as teachers Sylvanus P. Thompson with his great gift for presenting students with a unified approach to a great diversity of engineering studies. William H. Eccles with his remarkable perception of possibilities in the early applications of radio and electronics. And John Ambrose Fleming, whose initiative and drive did so much to establish the basic techniques in telecommunications. My admiration for these men was unbounded, and they certainly made an indelible impression upon me. It had not occurred to me to try and become a teacher myself until one day in 1924, while working with my father, who was also a member of this institution, in his electrical contracting business of Barlow and Young Limited, I received from Professor Fleming a letter offering me a post on the staff of University College London as an assistant lecturer in the design of electrical machinery. Although the monetary reward was no encouragement, in fact, uh, it was 300 pounds a year, the job offered opportunity for research, and with the prospect of my younger brother, Stuart, who later became a vice president of the institution, coming into the family business, I decided to take the plunge into academic work, a step I have never regretted. To me, it seems so astonishing that a letter out of the blue, as was this one from Professor Fleming, should have changed my whole career, particularly at a time when I was well set to follow in my father's footsteps as an electrical contractor. As a member of the staff of University College, I spent 43 years of my life going from my starting point in the design of electrical machines, collaborating with C.C. Hawkins, to radio, electronics, and telecommunications. Working during that time with Professor Sir Ambrose Fleming, W.C. Clinton, R.O. Cap, and more recently with Alex Cullen, John Brown, and Eric Ash. Throughout all this, my early experience in industry had an influence, and I believe it gave me some better understanding of the constant need in engineering to translate academic studies into something of practical importance. With Jack Leslie, I found opportunity as a consulting engineer to, walk, uh, to work more specifically towards applications. And later, through Lord Nelson and Sir Gordon Radley, I found myself back in a delightfully stimulating industrial environment with the English Electric Group. I suspect that my first love has always been research. And against all the interesting possibilities offered to me over a long career in electrical engineering, I still find particular satisfaction in delving into some of the more obscure things of our electrical science and trying to grasp 
their deeper meaning. An exercise I can recommend wholeheartedly to all who are inclined that way.